Hello, my beautiful people. We are back here at Hogwarts. Ooh, yeah. Is it working? It's working, I think. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Um, back. Nope, here we go. We're in the cave. We've... We're about to meet the big good guy. Whatever. This guy. From the past. Time to talk. Uh, what is it? Um, Expelliarmus? Yes. We got that. Talk. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I okay. won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. You will receive one turn point each time you increase your wizarding level. Okay. Nice. Dark arts. Four stealth. Spells. Dark arts. <clears throat> Stupefy. Nice. This looks promising. <clears throat> Bells. <clears throat> What's the core? Reduce spell cooldowns. Nice. Cool. <clears throat> Stealth. I like that. And now I can move faster while being stealth. Move uh, whatever. Eh. 
care about that. Eh. Dark Arts, maybe? Have the dark arts. Some spells here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 this is great. I have become more powerful now. Rebellion. the book but damn I have become more powerful more powerful than you can possibly imagine Pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Well, <laughs> handy resource indeed, your field guide. Yep, I'm most pleased to be included. So now. Sensing something. Incendio. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Rebellion. Level one lock. Hmm. Well, I've not learned to pick those yet, so... You need to learn to Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Ah. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. <laughs> well... Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hmm. What is in here? That's another lock. The hell is that? Thank you. I need levels, baby. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? 
What is that? Getting closer, man. Here's something. Revenia. The stairwell looks promising. Mm -hmm. And this one. Ah. I need Luminara, man. thingy and a pot plant a lion and a pot plant is it up or down let's see lion and a pot well it's not here a lion and pot Not here either. Was not here either. Can't be that far away, man. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Well, I know that is... That's music here. Oh, come on. Avelio. There's something down there. something here nice just a little bit more off on another adventure are we yes yes but not now Gotta right. Hmm. So that's over here. Go to flying class.
Can I get some flying class, man? I hate flying, but okay. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Yes, I suck at flying. Okay. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This'll take some getting used to. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Ha! Huh? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! Uh -huh. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Ah, that's better. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> It's not that bad. Oh, well done! Have a moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't want to do a, be a Quidditch player ever. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. No. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Mm. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? 
A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. All right, found you. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yes, sir. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <gasps> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Here you go. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for mm. not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. <laughs> He's always looking to test new models. I'll Ooh. keep an eye out for you in the sky. Damn. Nice. Oop, and that's a talent point, baby. Um, potato. potato? No thanks. I've already eaten. Quest. Quest. Nice. Uh. <laughs> we have got something.
But that reminds me... I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Mm. New quest. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Nice. I don't have many spells here, so essentials. the repair thing Thank 
Let's see where we're going. Could be there. We needed that one. That's clear. Rebellion. <laughs> Professor V. Weasley. Ah. Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Master stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Hmm. I am in pain with my hands. Right. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I don't have plans to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Ooh. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Evanesco. All right. Evanesco. Splendid. Spell now, learned. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. 
Thank you, and that is probably this one. No, it's this one. But I like that there's that many spells. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. <laughs> we shall discuss its uses later. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Rebellion. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Something over here. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Okay. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop! Revelia! No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Okay. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Thank you. 
Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Hmm. I need a push thing. That house elf can find us in here. Who knows? Rebellion. But <sighs> not dumb. Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Dobby. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room, like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Mm. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them, you seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Mm. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay, nice. <sighs> identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Mm -hmm. But first, we gotta have our clothing. Here we go. Because I have now something new. I'm gonna one thing. Inventory. Okay. I imagine the desk hmm. of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. Ooh. I'll teach you. What? The conjure spell? Dang. Very good. <laughs> when conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They yeah. list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Okay. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Mm. Nice. <laughs> I wish I could unlock these, man. That would be so fucking awesome. that quit well done you can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds.
Ah. You have reached the budget for this type. Okay. Well, hmm. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thanks. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit That's longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Mm. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully mm -hmm. outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Mm. Finally. Four. Can I do this now? No. That's fine. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? There are so many choices. What items do you think I should conjure? I shall leave that entirely up to you. This is your space, after all. I will say that a simple addition, such as a wall hanging or a portrait, might make the space feel unique. Mm, thanks. I think I can manage from here. Thank you. I look forward to seeing your work. Let's uh, go here. Wiganweld Potion. I need 
used to conjure one more thing, man. Um, okay. A conjure wall decorations. Shall we move on? Yep. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Mm -hmm. Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. F Just spell. aim your <laughs> wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Cool. Hmm. Let's see. At just the size of it. Okay. color Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Aha. Okay. Nice. Wow. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, mm -hmm. would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks... Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Hmm. I like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. 
Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What is that? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Nice. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I like it. But So I got that now. My own little space. That is cool. Rebellion. Well, that was good. Nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you. Unidentified item. Well, Lumio. Lumos. Lumos. What's that? Oh! So that's where the thingy is. The. It's upstairs. Here. Let's be further up. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Now I just need to get back down. And this one needs fire. Thank you. But I need to get further down. How? This is not the place. Is 
put the here. up again we got more you see the more levels I get the stronger I shall become Bam. so first this thank you I we actually need the Fire thing. Incendio. And another one. <laughs> That's cool. Incendio. No. Hmm. Well, map. Gotta get to the next quest. Secret room. <sighs> Gotta get to the next quest. There is something here. Lumos. Lumos. Where? We need incendiary over here. But this one first, somewhere. Not seeing anything. I don't remember where. What are you up to now? Oh. You know what I'm up to. Must be this way. Either rub it down, don't remember. You still need to get over here.
Oh. So we're going down. I didn't get the incendiary. I've done. always said that travel broadens the mind. Uh huh. Cool, but yeah. Getting that done too. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Hmm. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. So we enter the other cross. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With, with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to leave her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Well, that's cool. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else mm. speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, Ooh. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mm -hmm. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Fringo, baby! <laughs> You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Oh, yeah. Stick to the. 
Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find nice work. That is what How I does it need. Feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. I love it. That's it. I think I've got it. Just well what I done. needed. Just what I damn well needed. Oh. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Mm-hmm. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. That's fine. But now I have a couple of new spells. <laughs> that I like. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, another one. That was good.
Oh, I'll move. Come and see me as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Yep. Yes, maybe. No. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Hmm. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. No, no, you will die. A hundred and forty two staircases, and this is where they put me. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do have it to use. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Mm. But where? Rebellion. I'm not seeing anything. <sighs> not seeing anywhere on the gobstone. But Seeing shit. Huh? Revenia. Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> yes, but. What is this place? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Mm hmm. But I'm not seeing anything. Bring it. 
Hmm. Maybe. Hot words are huge. that page go I've got to keep an eye on high places around the I school for Zenobia's cobblestones how could I raise an eyebrow to you of anything other than pure joy yeah. oh, that's one of Zenobia's cobblestones Thank I you. hardly see what all the fuss is about So that is something. Red screen. Owl is zero. Horse is one. Well, I gotta take a picture of that, baby. Mm. Camera. Thank you. <laughs> because that is what I needed. Fourteen. Revelia. <laughs> plus two equals fourteen. Thingy plus the Okay. It equals fourteen. <laughs> okay, give me the picture. Eight plus. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's three. So that's a nine. Ni plus three. We got a nine. We need the uh, thingy with the hair thingy or whatever. Oh. Hmm. Nine. Well, I can do a three over here, maybe. And three would be the second. Okay. Ah.
So we need a three over there. A nine plus two. A two is a what is a thingy thing in my face. Not this one. Absolutely. Um I don't really need a um What's over the other? I put there. The the lizard. You don't get the lizard. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Simple math, at, at least, but thingy plus that. And a two. And a two is a horse's head. Is that a horse's head or an owl head? That's an owl head. Zero. That's the one I was searching for. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I got it. I got it. I got it. I think I got it. Good. 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 So that one needs a. <sighs> hmm. Well, uh, do, 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 do. the thingy is a three, and three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need a four. That's the head. That's this one. 
And here we need a three, and a three is that serpent thing, like this. And this should solve it. Dang, we got it. Large table. Revelio. Seventeen plus if that head crap thing, what is this? Mm, that is five. Okay. So six and that it gives eleven so, so we need a seven. That's the damn th round thingy. Here. Nope. Mm, could be that. But it don't. No. No. It's not that one, at least. Oh. This look good. Please. Uh, six plus Elve, right? So we need a six. And a six is a fucking lizard. Why am I? This this one. Eight plus whatever the hell that is. <laughs> That's this one. Ode a soup. Ode niti el tal tan fjorten femten. Ah, so we need a zero. Hmm. Or what? What is that? Eight. But we need a one, and a one is a horsey. Yep. Hopti. Is full, of course. Uh -huh. Always the gear. There we go. Twenty-seven. the sign man I'm not seeing sh ah there we go <laughs> lizard is a six plus that 
crap it's a five that's 11 so we need a a four which is an ugly hit thing there we go and a 13 plus that shit thing up there is a zero. Okay. So we need a five, and that is that. Um. Oh. Nope. Yep. Okay, well, we need now to go back. So identify my items. And I will be able to wear something better. And then I better end for today soon. It's been cool. Stupefy. Bip dip dip dip. At least I'm happy to find these signs. It's now I know what the numbers are. <laughs> Means I can enter all the doors.
Uh, um, better go. I can. It's stuck on loading now. Anyway, bye.